Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Notes From Home. We've missed you guys. We haven't had a video lately because our son, the videographer, <laughs> <laughs> Are you keeping that? Yeah. Okay. Is now living part-time in LA, part-time here with us in Tennessee. He's doing some photography and videography for a clothing brand out there. So we're not able to make videos as much as we normally do, which means we would love for you to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today's video, we are headed back to Kentucky to our house that we've been renovating up there. We are hoping to be able to Airbnb it at the first of the year. So we have lots of work still to do and we wanted to take you with us and show you what we're up to. so close to having this house finished and our goal would be to get it done before Christmas. We don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We're going to try our hardest. So while we're here for a few days, we're going to be installing the kitchen, adding some more trim and getting a lot of painting done. All right, we are at Lowe's and we are just getting some stock cabinets for the Wilmore house. And we are getting this kit. It comes with the sink and the faucet all together. And we are going to try to install this before we head back to Kentucky on Monday. So Sai's si going to be doing the cabinets and the seat. cabinets right now that we just got is I'm kind of getting them put where we want. I know I'm going to have to shim them quite a bit in, in spots, but uh, you know, basically just getting them lined out before I do any kind of plumbing. Um, I got some holes cut in the uh, in the sink cabinet uh, to get my plumbing through, but you know, I got to get all this fixed to the wall and then we'll move on to getting that butcher block on, but uh, this will definitely take me most of the day. Yeah, so all I'm doing right now, they give a template for this sink. You can either do it under mount or on top. We're doing it on top because this butcher block, it would be real hard to sand the inside of that. But anyway, putting this template on, I'm taping it down. I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna put my wood bit and do all four of those. And then I'll cut this bad boy out. Late night trip to Lowe's. We got us an oven and a dishwasher. Just got home from dinner, listening to Kentucky Wildcats play football. So we've been here several days and we've done a lot of work on installing the kitchen. I say we, Sa has done it, but he had to go under the crawl space. He had to hook up a lot of the plumbing for the kitchen sink, for the dishwasher. He had to run some new electrical wires, all of that stuff to get the kitchen functioning. And we've got a good bit of the kitchen finished, although we still need to get a fridge, um, a coffee spot, a kitchen table, things like that. But we're getting there. And now we're working on the trim. So we trimmed out the house with pine trim. And sometimes you can see the knots, it'll show through the paint. So we've used a primer and we've primed all of the trim so that it won't show the knots. And normally guys, we go and we put a bright white on all of our trim and all the houses we've ever worked with. But on this one, I wanted to do something different. So I'm gonna paint it the trim a warm gray. I'm going with Dorian Gray by Sherwin-Williams in a satin finish. One of the reasons I wanted to do that in this house is because this house is over 100 years old and we live about 20 minutes, this house is about 20 minutes from Shaker Town or Shaker Village is what a lot of people call it. It's an old historic place here in Kentucky and a lot of the homes and a lot of the buildings at Shaker Town have a darker painted trim and so I thought it would be fun to kind of 
you know, tap into that historical element. So we're gonna paint the trim gray. I hope I like it because I've never done anything like this before. But my opinion is if I don't like it, I can always paint it back white, right? So we're gonna do that today and we'll share with you. getting late it's starting to get a little darker outside and we need to head back to Kentucky it is or Tennessee it's 620 so that's 520 Nashville time so we need to head back but I got a lot of good work done and got most of this room trimmed out some of it needs second coat so I'll do that when we come back but I'm loving the way it turned out Okay, thanks for joining us, you guys. We had so much fun sharing our Kentucky house with you, and we are gonna be going up there some more to try to get this house finished by Christmas, so we'll have more projects to share with you in the future. We also have some stuff going on here at the Tennessee house that we hope to share with you. So again, please subscribe to this channel, give us a like and a comment. Until next time, we'll see you then.